What you wouldn't read about is how Ray Pinkle lost his mind, was committed to a mental hospital only to escape and join the police force under the assumed identity of a missing hiker, manipulating his way to the top in a diabolical scheme to get even with Dan Marino, whom he blamed for the entire thing. What the hell are you talking about? She's not Lois Einhorn. She's Ray Finkel. She's a man. He's lying. Shut up! <laughs> Let's just see who's lying, shall we? Would a real woman have to wear one of these? Ah! Boy, that's really on there. But tell me this. Would a real woman be missing these? <laughs> that kind of surgery can be done over the weekend. But I doubt very much if he could find the time during his busy schedule to get rid of big old Mr. Kanish. Oh, boy. Psst. Psst. Ace, come here. Would you excuse me for just one second? Ladies and gentlemen, my esteemed colleague, Mr. Marino, has just brought some new evidence to my attention. Now, history has certainly shown that even the most intuitive criminal investigator can be wrong from time to time. But if I am mistaken, if the lieutenant is indeed a woman, as she claims to be, then my friend, she is suffering from the worst case of hemorrhoids I have ever seen! That's why Roger Pedactor is dead! He found Captain Winky! Good night, everybody! We've got a wonderful audience. I'll be here all week. Be sure to tip your waitress. <laughs> <laughs>